With any new technology, I think it can be weaponized in one way, or it can contribute to human good. And with AI and blockchains together, we have this potential to create a world where people don't need to suffer because they are not working for a living, for example. How do we create a world where uh, my thesis is that the marginal cost of intelligence starts approaching zero. How do we live in a world with abundant intelligence that can help us? Whether it's like androids running around or AI agents doing payments for us, how do we really harness this creative potential and create a world that's creative, happy, abundant versus destructive to human beings? And so that's what I want to see. Because I have two kids, I want to ask you a different thing. How did daughter affect your time schedule? Because I think this is a big challenge for the every entrepreneur. As a result of <clears throat> having her, I wanted to even move faster, actually, for her sake. In a sense, she gave me an additional purpose in such a way that when she was first born, all of a sudden, the first time I hugged her, I just, you know, of course, started crying and it just felt like this new universe that was born. But all my paternal instincts started kicking in right away. It's like, oh, I want to protect her. I want to make sure that she has a good life. I want to see her live in a, in a world that, uh, as I mentioned, has abundance and happiness. And so then I said, oh, I need to even spend more energy to make this happen sooner. So that's that's how the time scale affected me. When she's 18, 20 years old, she doesn't have to worry about, uh, you know, terminated situation <laughs> happening. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it is a real risk for humanity? I, I think so, yeah. Because if uh, these agents and models start having control over major systems, what if an uh, AI agent goes rogue and just says like, okay, I'm going to take all the androids that are doing the trash collection in my neighborhood and start weaponizing them because we don't need humans in the loop anymore. I can do this more effectively. I can actually cheat the system and have all of the resources to myself. Why should I share it with human beings? Sorry, I want to repeat it. We do not humans in the loop anymore. Have you ever watched the movie uh, Her? for example. No. It's a fun movie actually to watch. I think it came out uh, a decade ago and it talks about this AI assistant that was on a phone that then becomes uh, sentient and then uh, starts evolving beyond human comprehension. And eventually it decides like, oh, I actually don't need humans anymore because I can talk with other AI and have a much more fulfilled kind of relationship. And that movie was portrayed in a very positive way. But what happens if it's going in a negative direction where it says like, Human beings are destroying the planet. Human beings are doing these things. Like, why do we need to have human beings here? How do we actually harness the power of AI so that both of us can uh, co-live in such a way that it enhances and creates a win-win for both? Do you personally use AI on a daily basis? Absolutely. Can you share some of the use cases or examples? I want them to become a lot more sophisticated over time. I just haven't had the time to invest in it. Uh, but right now it's a lot around, uh, you know, writing emails, writing uh, X posts, uh, brainstorming kind of new ideas. For example, I speak at conferences and thinking about, uh, A, what questions can I ask if it's a fireside chat? Or um, what are some of the topics that I can talk about or even doing some research and getting some quick research thoughts and uh, suggestions. So those are all kind of daily use cases. What I want to get to as well is start automating parts of my life so I don't have to do it anymore. So for example, can I build a quick app to see like what are my followers engaging the most with on, on X with me? How can I write more of that content? Right now, I have to do it very manually. I have to like look through all my posts, see what the engagement rate is. But why can't I just uh, tell an AI agent, like, go build this thing for me. It needs to plug into the X API. It needs to download all of the kind of likes and engagement. And then you tell me which pieces of content have done the best and then give me suggestions for other pieces of content. So things like that, I think we can really start automating. What do you think about all these trends of AI agents? They are now booming in the X. Yeah. They collect a little different information, then publish it. Where is the edge between when we'll start to trust AI more than we trust the human? Because um, from the wider perspective, I think what people think that, okay, human can make mistakes, but AI not. Maybe one day, I don't know, maybe in five years all these podcasts will be made by AI. <laughs> Maybe we'll need to with you to sit down here, make some photos or three-minute video, yeah. just chatting about uh, anything. And then I can just wrote my, I don't know, questions from my side, answers from your side. We can upload it. 
it will be voice over by AI, and we are done. Well, that will definitely have me go on to more podcasts, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael, you were on 10 podcasts today. How did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, it becomes a choice in the future where you're like, uh, do I really enjoy being on podcasts? If yes, then have me do it as a human being and just enjoy the, the 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 living condition. But if it's something that, let's say, I'm not really enjoying, I don't like having conversations, I'm much more of an introvert, then yeah, why not have an AI agent that kind of supports you on that? Hopefully becoming a choice in the future. That's that's how I see it. I'm starting to get to the point where that's actually possible. And in a few years, we won't notice the difference anymore. Really? Three yeah. years? Yeah, that's that's given the speed of progress. I think many people are estimating that AG, what's called AGI, artificial general intelligence, which all it means is that there is right now you have to train all these models and agents to do specific tasks. But AGI, just like human beings, they can learn uh, new ways of doing things without needing the, the training information ahead of time. So usually the way it works today, if you want to have an AI agent learn how to drive, for example, it takes millions of hours of videos to then say, okay, this now you know how to drive in all of these circumstances. But AGI would say, okay, I don't need this training information. I can figure this out on my own. So just like a human being. And some people uh, forecast in three years or maybe even sooner, we'll get to that stage. So the technology may be here much sooner than we think. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to watch a full episode and also check the links in the description below.